Hey guys, it's Lindsay from the blog Repurpose and Upcycle, and today I'm going to be sharing the difference between Minwax and Varathane stain in weathered oak and how it looks on pine. You can see my pine wood, and I'm going to start with Minwax, and I'm going to show you uh, how the Minwax looks on this piece of pine versus how the Varathane looks on the piece of pine. And like I said, um, they're both in the color weathered oak. Now, before you apply a stain, when you open it, always stir it really well. Don't ever shake a stain, but always stir it just to make sure uh, anything that's, any sediments that went to the bottom are good and mixed in. First thoughts on the Midwax Weathered Oak, it looks like a light gray color. But a lot of times to get that weathered oak color, uh, it's going to have gray undertones. That's just part of that weathered oak color. So now I'm going to apply it with a foam brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it and then use like a cheesecloth or a lint free rag to wipe it immediately when I'm done. Make sure you wear your gloves. So I'm going to apply, apply it in the direction of the wood grain and you can see how light it looks. I was really surprised uh, at how light it came out um, and I, honestly I was a little worried that it wasn't going to show up very well. So what I decided to do was put a pretty heavy layer on it and then I'm going to take my cloth and wipe that color off of it. And you can see when I wipe it off of it, you don't really see the gray. It just kind of darkens the pine wood. Uh, it makes it just gives it a little bit of a darker color, which honestly looks nice uh, because I wasn't really happy with the way with how light that was. I went ahead and did two passes on it just to see what it would look like with two passes and then I went ahead and wiped the second one and after I was done wiping the second coat uh, I was going to leave it to dry uh, just to see if it darkened up any more after it dried and next I'm going to move on to the Varathane weathered oak color. Now both the Minwax and the Varathane are both regular old oil based stains. Now the Varathane when I opened it was a lot darker gray than the Minwax and I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and like stir it really well, make sure um, anything set, settlements at the bottom were all stirred up. And then I turned the pine wood around to start with a clean piece of pine. Uh, and then I just dipped a new foam brush into the Varathane weathered oak stain. And you can see how much darker this stain applies. Now, I did not use a wood conditioner. I thought about it, but I thought I wanted to get the true measure of the different colors without the wood, because without the wood conditioner, sometimes a wood conditioner will alter uh, the look just a little. That being said, you do need a wood conditioner, especially when you're working on raw wood. As you can see here, how blotchy it is. But like I said, I'm looking for the true measure of the color, uh, not necessarily a perfect finish. I'm just really comparing the two tones. Uh, so here's my second layer with the Varathane, uh, hoping it would be a little more consistent and even, but I feel like it's even more blotchy and more gray. I, I feel like this looks more like a, a weathered gray stain, not a weathered oak. Uh, but I'm going to compare the two and see and let them dry and I'll let you guys know. So here's what the Varathane looks like dry. Uh, still extremely gray and extremely blotchy, which is due to not having the wood conditioner, uh, especially there where it soaked up much of that stain. Uh, so if you're not going to use a wood conditioner, my suggestion is use the Minwax. You can see the difference in how really this doesn't look gray. It just has beautiful, darker, weathered looking undertones, uh, much different than the Varathane. And in all fairness, I knew I needed to try a little bit with a wood conditioner. So I went ahead and turned it over and applied the wood conditioner to a good portion of the pine wood. And now I'm going to reapply the stain to see what it looks like now. I've already reapplied two coats of each stain so you could see the min wax in between the two marks right there. That's my min wax line. I applied two coats and I wiped it clean. Uh, on the right is the Varathane. You can see how much more gray it looks. Uh, and honestly, I I'm still surprised at the little bit of blotchiness. I did two coats of the wood conditioner and it still is that darker little bit of blotchy. And honestly, the min wax barely shows up. 
Here's what it looks like in a little bit of a darker light. Uh, the Minwax still is very light. I think if I were to choose my favorite, I would probably choose the Minwax without the wood conditioner. It just darkens the pine enough to give it a little more of a rustic look. Now, without the wood conditioner, I would not try the Verathane. Even with the wood conditioner, it's still kind of gray, um, but this I think is my favorite look. Now, if you flip it over, once again, this is the pine with the wood conditioner. I can't really tell much of a difference with the Minwax. Uh, the Valspar, it definitely makes it look a lot lighter, which is good and much needed. There's more pigmentation in the Valspar, so it kind of evens it all out. So if you're looking for more of that gray tone, the Valspar is definitely what you need to go with. Make sure to use a wood conditioner. Otherwise, I would stick with the Minwax and I think it looks fine without a wood conditioner, but a wood conditioner is always a good bet. It might just take more coats of the Minwax to get the desired look that you're going for. All right, guys, I hope I've given you a good idea of what these stains will look like on pine. As always, like and subscribe so you don't miss a video. Thanks for watching.